Great pace from Cardwell. He needs support. Riley's in there. Riley towards the near post. He cuts to Newby at the back post. And he scores. He's 1 1. Brilliant goal. Full. <laughs> Really good work from Newby. Oh, on he goes. He's just gone past three players. Elliot Newby taking it on. Oh. Great pace from Cardwell, he needs support, Riley's in there, Riley towards the near post, he cuts to Newby in the back post, and he scores, he's 1-1, brilliant goal, full surely to get back on terms, misplaced pass and Cardwell might be in here, can he drive into space, he can and he scores, 2-2 Two -two at the DW, Baines, Cardwell, and again, oh, off the post. So close to the equaliser. Lovely turn and shot, and so... Yeah, well done. Come It might fall this for Connor Hall. He's gone down. That is a very stone wall penalty. Right on the stroke of half time. Surely have a glorious chance to go back into the lead. And surely are asking a few questions of what colour car the referee may produce as well. It can't, it can't be a red card because it's a genuine attempt to play the ball. If you remember, that was the issue with JJ's red card. Yeah, you can only send a player off if you believe he hasn't tried to play the ball. So the issue with the JJ one at Ultringham was that he said it's a push, which you can't push to win the ball. So he's booked Grandi, so he's given the foul against Grandi rather than Daniel But it's a pen, isn't it? It's, all it's the most stonewall penalty I've seen so far this season. And it's a really good chance for Connor Hall to put his side in front at the break in front of the Harry Mack against Louis Gray who saved a few penalties this season already Louis Gray how the Blues would love him to save another one here as the referee just gives his instructions to the Chorley and Chester players to stay where they are Connor Hall from 12 yards he fires it down the middle in fact